Welcome to Loveland Castle. Look at this. Built by one man starting in 1929. Simply marvelous. This is an actual castle built one fifth the scale of an actual castle except for the doorways like this. And it started with one man, Sir Harry Andrews in 1929. He told a couple of his scouts, you give me some stones, I'll build you a couple of towers. And he did. But the story even starts a little bit sooner. They were actually camping here, this Boy Scouts. And then he just saw them and he said, hey, I will build you that. And so that's what's so exciting about this. It started with just some camping. When you think about a castle, you don't think about how the horses actually got out. So when they were invaded here, this was a replica of what it would look like if the horses were going really, really fast to get out of the castle to end up down by the water and then also to run away. This is where the knights would get on their horses and still be protected by the castle. The arrows couldn't get into them and these doorways made it practically impossible for horses to come storming in with another rider. One of the interesting things about Sir Harry Andrews is he died twice. Seriously. Sir Harry contracted meningitis and people thought he was dead. The doctor and everybody, as a matter of fact, his family was told, ah, he's gone. But when they went to perform an autopsy on his seemingly lifeless body, he bled, which means the heart was still pumping, so he couldn't be dead. Not wanting to waste an opportunity, they saw this as the perfect chance to test a new drug that helped increase the rate of blood circulation called adrenaline. So they gave him a shot of adrenaline, and that brought him back to life. Much to the dismay of his fiance, probably, but then again, she married his friend right after she found out he passed away, so don't know. <laughs> Ready? Here we go into the dark depths. Oh, wow. This castle was designed not only to resemble a real castle, but the doorways are actual doorways that would have been used during the medieval times to protect people against marauders. Uh-oh, they say there's a wild man. <gasps> I'm thinking his uh, wild days are probably behind him. Yeah, just just saying. It's kind of funny though, if you look in there, it looks like a giant roll of toilet paper. To give you an example of the doorways we're talking about, Vanessa is 5'8", and has a duck to get under this right here. That is so low. Then you've got this staircase that winds up, and they are so narrow, you actually have to hold on to the wall to go up them. And they've got us closed off for right now, but these steps, but these steps are irregular sizes, irregular heights. And again, it was all about protecting the castle and the fortress back in the medieval times. He evidently, I don't know for sure, but as we walk around, there's different dates stamped in different things. And this one is stamped 1990. So I'm thinking maybe he created this door back then. This door is not, it's actually the regular size, is what they tell us. The interesting story, and I gotta make sure I get my numbers right. So this is, it has 2,000, oh gosh, 2,380 nails in it. It is three layers, which means this door is not just this wood, but there's three layers of it. And it is 258 pieces of wood to create it. It's not that big, but they say that once this door shuts, no one can get in. So if you want a cup of sugar, you're out of luck. Sorry. It came out of an old church in Cincinnati. It was a bishop's chair. Hmm. It was headed straight for the dumpster because they were tearing down the old church to build a more modern one. the big piece on this table is the knight. Mm. 
looks kind of like the kitchen with the jail door. Yeah. Don't touch the snacks. Okay, to get upstairs. <laughs> we get to go up the fun staircase. Wow. Talk about narrow. Are there like new members that they get now or something? That just like get passed down or something? Stairs are so. Small and tight. I couldn't see anybody storming a castle trying to come in here quick. Wow. See how narrow these windows are? These were a line of defense because you could shoot an arrow out of them and get your target pretty well without anyone <laughs> hitting you back. Look at this doorway. I know it's not a doorway. Makes you feel kind of like you're walking into an elf wonderland. <laughs> How long is this room locked up for? It's a bedroom. It's a bedroom? Hey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can check out, but you can never leave. You should put that in a song. We're in the second floor. Looks like the banquet room. Looks like you would have a feast fit for a king in this place. Definitely got some ambiance. Electric fireplace is a, I'm, I'm sure it's in later add on. And now I've got the bathroom. <laughs> there are certain places you just can't go at Lublin Castle. The floor, by the way, is very squeaky. This would be a most excellent reading nook. I said reading nook. I haven't said nook in, I don't think I've ever said it. You've got this cool balcony. We shot a shot of it a minute ago. You get to look over all your property. It's really neat. Reminds me of the Romeo and Juliet thing, you know? Romeo, Romeo, for hot dog, Romeo. And these are a third set of stairs that I think they have the top blocked off. This is where they would melt lead and through those tiny windows, the slits, they would pour it down on anyone who's trying to invade them. I think this, or, or it you know, could just be the patio barbecue area for the king. Oh, I was so close. Seriously, if you come here, you have got to be careful with the stairways. Man, I am definitely holding on. So, Hannah, how does it feel touring the castle on a 90 degree day? I think it's 190. I don't know. I am covered in sweat. It's, it's sweaty. But I love this guy beside us. Oh, yeah. Oh, I can't wait. Wait till I'm knighted. Oh, it's going to be so cool. Look at this. Get to wear this kind of stuff. Just sit around in my lounge chair, robe, eat chips. I... You, you know, you have to work for it. Work? What do you mean work? You have to serve one whole year here before you even get considered to be a knight. You gotta work? Yeah. And you gotta be voted in. So they don't just, you know, say, come on, Jim, get on uh, and be a knight. You gotta be voted in, yeah. And you gotta make a lot of decisions. Yeah, forget that one. Again, so close. Get so far. So can women be knights here? Ooh. Seriously, I don't think women can be knights. Because look at the outfit. You would have to wear this. There's no way. Uh -huh. You can accessorize outside of, you know, a mace. Look at the shoes though, those are pretty cool. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Air. Air. Okay, I'm not complaining guys, but it's a little stifling in there. Whew, okay. Okay, I got my second win. Be careful. <laughs> they call them trip stairs. The official name is the Irish staircase. But it's trippy, man. What'd you see? A roof? That's a patio barbecue area I figured out. It's amazing. I wish we could go up there. Wow, this, this is, is the steep. This is the door. 1991. That door was 1991? So we found out this must have been when they refurbished because they had to, of course, do some upgrades to make it a museum. 
and a place people could come to check out. Do you guys want to go up? Caleb, you want to go up? Now we have to walk out. Oh, these stairs. <laughs> you guys get here to see this. You are going to be blown away by these staircases. We're not kidding. And of course, they have a gift shop. Yeah. You know, just so you can get a little souvenir. That is a cool one, too. I like that. Uh, wow, look what we found underneath the castle on the other side. Remember that steep walk we went down? This is what was on the other side. That is so awesome. It doesn't stop there. There's another one. What's this? It looks like it's maybe a garage. Ooh. Okay. Okay, I'm intrigued now. I'm, I want to go in there. Don't worry, I won't. I won't. Heck is that? What? What'd you find? <laughs> that, ooh, that is weird. Look at that. What is it? You guys know what this plan is. Put it down in the comments. Because we don't have a clue. It's got some kind of brushy thing on the end of it. It looks like the Ohio River is right there. And some people taking advantage uh, the Lazy River situation. Oh, I like that fire pit. That is fantastic. Look at this. Oh man, that's peaceful looking. Not only does it look peaceful, wait for it. That's right, we got a Lazy River action going on. Tubing. That's a long way down. <laughs> don't want don't to trip on that stuff. Somebody trash in the place? Really? Bottle they left and they didn't throw it away. Look at this look. Look at this folks. And people are leaving trash around. Come on, y'all. Man. Not going to assume that anyone has to go to the bathroom in that little lazy river situation. It's a bunch of guys, you know. Nah. There are so many nooks and crannies around here to video, just little quiet places. I would love right here just to have a tent. This would be so Nice, it's kind of cloudy today. It's 90 degrees, but here, under these trees, it is so awesome. So we sit the spell on the quarry stone. My lass, my lady. No, we're gonna read it, okay. What's it? What does it say? It says something, can't make it out. I know the camera can't figure it out. Such an awesome place to have a fire pit. I want one like this at home. I just don't want to have to build it, that's all. And I would have to build it, so, yeah. You know. What? You know what? that we could put seats like that around ours at home. Oh, we could. We could. We could. And then we could call it the Knights of the Round Table. Round Fire Pit. Fire Pit. Yeah. Sir Jim yeah. and Surist. Surist? <laughs> Vanessa. Lady, Lady Vanessa. Lady Vanessa. Lady Vanessa. What was I thinking? Yeah, just as soon as Jim builds it, right? Okay. We hope that you enjoyed this time with us today. It was a hot day, but we loved it, and we hope you enjoyed it as well. Thanks for taking the off-ramp to adventure. Remember, adventure is as close as the next off-ramp. What time is it? What time is it? It's a it's a sundial and it's cloudy. I, I don't know what time it is. Okay, this was either where you went when you did something wrong or yes. the medieval version of Wall Street. Stocks and bonds. Ow, 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 ow. ow.